Hello, and welcome to part 32 of the Build Diary. It's been a long time. Last time I was out here, scarves, jumpers, and woolly hats were required. This time I can say, hey, new-ish t-shirt, and shades and things. I'm also dry trying to stream some of this live via the, the Book of Face. So hello to anybody watching on the Book of Face today. And, well, this is the third attempt at Corner Post 3. So I was hitting some problems with um, getting the edge to stay on straight. The two posts I've already made are not entirely straight and I was determined to make at least two that were proper and straight and could go around the front. So I did mention my problems over on the Book of Face on the TARDIS Owners Webs TARDIS Owners Group. Oh, I need a drink. I'm drying up already in this weather. Ah I was recommended clamps, these ones, which have got a rather nice mechanism to them. You um let the break off like that. I'll stand back a bit so you can see. And then this button here does the job that you would normally do by screwing the thing up. So you go like that and you can gradually pump it into position. Which means and I've got six of them out of the eight or ten that I've bought out. Which means hopefully that I'll be able to get the wood into position and having already pre-aligned the clamp just go do 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 and finish it off. Uh, I've just realised I've left the glue indoors but that won't take long to get out. So I'm going to pause the main video but uh, you live people aren't you lucky? You get to see all the um, stuff that the non-live people won't see. So there we are, with the corner post three of the story so far. And I've got the fiddly task of uh, getting all the glue on again. What you haven't seen is I had to remove the piece of wood that's currently lying on the ground there. It wasn't straight. And hack away at some of the glue that was still on it and try and get it as flat as possible so let's get this glued up The glue always wants to flow out wider than I need it to be. The actual surface area of wood is not very really wide at all. I'm desperately trying to keep it in line. And now, the fun part. Instead, I've been working away on this wood for a new green block.
So it won't stay in position while I crack around with pen. and ready and get one of them on. Also I haven't looked down this wood earlier. I happen to know it's developed a rather nasty wall. Bend me in a bit. Quite sure. Can't to do with that. But it has to be. See, the problem is it has to sit on the quarter. Let's have a look. You can probably see better than me from the camera angle. It has seen reasonably straight, so I'm going to start putting them out the other end now. It's at the other end where it's wall. That's straight, that's the sort of thing I needed from the start. Well, I'm going to keep recording on the live video and we'll pause this one for now. Well, as you can see, with a bit of faffing around, there's now three clamps on. I'm going to try and get three more on and see how well it's holding up. It does at least seem to be straight and hopefully sitting on that line of glue that I gave it. So let's uh, see if we can get another clamp. Now the trick with these things manually do that and they've also got this nifty thing at the top which you can 
to lock, so that. If I can get it to lock, so that isn't flexible and I don't want it to be flexible because as soon as it's flexible that's when I've been having problems and suddenly the whole thing gives away and the clamp, clamp falls off so let's try and get this one on I'll move the camera in a minute so you can see that too. There I was just about to move the thing and one of the clamps fell straight off so um, I'm not sure whether I should try and stick another one on. I will move the camera though so you can see that it's at a right angle. We're a little bit low but you get the general idea that is holding true at a right angle with this piece of wood on the right there, the one that I'm trying to glue into place it does look to the eye a little bit wonky but then I think that's a problem with warping more than it is to do with um, how I've got it laying onto the other piece of wood so they all seem to be holding it true so we'll leave it for 24 hours because we've got another good day of weather tomorrow and we'll come back and see if it's possible to take the clamps off and uh, fit the other wider piece of wood next to it. See, once you've got this bit done the rest of it's a doddle. It's getting this bit done. It's persuading that first piece of wood to um, fix down at a right angle but hopefully we'll be back tomorrow with more so goodbye for now